this is the Neki BU Myra. It is a zigzag and straight stitch machine. It is a machine that is capable of sewing very, very high speeds. It's a high shank machine. Um, they're a beautiful machine. Um, you can get a Wonder Wheel, which can be attached here, and you use the little Wonder Wheel parts to attach to uh, the, um, they hook into the, this is your stitch width lever. This is your needle position lever. Um, when you have it on straight stitch, you can uh, move your needle position. I don't have a needle in it right now, but um, anyway, one of the things that I wanted to show is um, this wonderful, wonderful machine does some, some of them, there is one thing that can happen as they get older. Um, and, uh, well, I can see by the light on there that I need to get this a little more cleaning on the front, a little more oil is still on the front that I didn't see without the flash. Anyway, um, by the way, um, the little oil holes here, they're oiling ports. Usually uh, when, when this, when I got this, these were all just brown, 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 sticky, stuck with stuff, just nasty as all get out. Um, they have a little ball bearing in them, but it is not metal. It is actually a type of plastic. I don't know the specific type of plastic, but it is to keep dust and dirt from getting into the oiling ports. And it's to simplify oiling your sewing machine. Basically, you need to use a oiler that has a tip on it and or the little metal pipe and or you will have to manually push that down when you are drop, putting your drop or two of oil in each of those because otherwise the oil will not go down into the machine. Um, give you an idea with the screwdriver here. See how the uh, little thing is sticking up at the top. If I push down, so you notice it's spring loaded. And by pushing it down, then you put your drop of oil in um, and then let it back up and it will hold the oil down inside. And uh, that keeps it from getting dust and dirt and lint and things into it. But that's that's how all those little oiling ports work. This one is an oiling port as well. It has an oiling port in there, um, but it does not have the little spring loaded part as far as I am aware. Um, uh, let's see. Um Okay, gone over the main stuff, by the way. The Necky B. Myra is one of the very few Necky uh, Italian-made Nickies are the only sewing machines I know of that have the, uh, that are zigzag machines that are capable of um, sewing a, uh, with a twin needle, but you do have to use a special presser foot in order to do that. Um, I just removed the needle plate. This is one of the other special features of the Neckies, of the old Neckies, is that you don't have to use any tools to be able to access to clean your feed dogs, get down to your bottom area, change your needle plate. Um, you do uh, basically notice that, see there's a little opening in the needle plate there, and that's for you to be able to slip it under that screw, and then it flips over that one, and then when this slides back, the spring on it helps hold it all in there just perfect. Now, anyway, um, you do have calibrated stitch tension. I can get my cell phone to, to uh, actually focus there, and of course your calibrated needle or stitch length and everything. Um, your bobbin winder's right here. Um, uh, when you uh, want to uh, engage it you you know put that up disengage it let loose now see there's a dirty spot in there but I don't know if that's a spot that's safe to clean <laughs> I've cleaned this pretty well but uh, that is one spot I've missed and you can see there's a couple spots uh, where it's kind of yellowed is still um, that I need to go over again um, even though I've taken parts off to clean it and everything but uh, Anyway, my husband rewired the motor back there. But one of the things I wanted to show on this video is that um, one of the things that can happen with these neckies and with other sewing machines is you can have, you, you know how you uh, loosen the, if you loosen the clutch, the cl release the clutch, I should say. Um, this is how you release the clutch by unscrewing this uh, knob slightly. It'll loosen. Um, I have it really tight right now because one of the things this one does have an issue with at the moment is that um, 
it will, uh, the clutch will sometimes release on its own without me wanting to uh, have it release. And so what I'm doing is uh, making this video to show people a video of it actually doing that. And I do not have the light uh, working on it at the moment. Um, but anyway, I've got it on high speed. And this, now notice that it just suddenly slowed down. It's still working. And even though I've cleaned up the clutch area in there, it is going much slower than it normally would. It's nice and quiet like that, but it's not nearly as fast. And if you check here, the clutch has released itself. So um, you can, if you slow slower, so slower, it is less likely to do that. However, it shouldn't be doing that at all. So here I'm going a little slower, but it's still doing it. It's still releasing itself. And you can hear that it actually can go really, really fast. Um, now, that's on high speed. And on low speed, it doesn't do it quite as quickly, usually. Um, here we go. Now it's on low speed. Now I'm going to go really fast on low speed, too. But see, it still released the clutch. Now, it's not completely released. It has just enough grip to do this. According to McKenna Lynn, one of my favorite uh, sewing machine vintage sewing machine repair people and parts people um, and bloggers. Um, according to her, the uh, these neckies actually have in their clutch uh, wheel, there is a, in the clutch area, there is actually a little tiny pointed piece of metal that can apparently wear out, uh, wear down the tip. And when that tip no longer fits in the groove properly where it is, then it will release the clutch on you without you releasing the clutch yourself when you don't want it to. So um, I wanted to make this video to show people what it looks like when that's happening. Um, I can't guarantee that's the issue with this one because I haven't taken it apart yet, but that is what it is behaving like at this point. It's a great running machine. It can go super, super fast, um, but... Uh, it definitely is uh, releasing the clutch itself for some reason, even though I've oiled it extremely well and cleaned the, the hand wheel area very, very well. It still has not been enough to alleviate this issue. Anyway, this is Becky Riceware, and this is the Necky BU Myra, made in Italy.